Alright, let's ask him some questions. So, you like to steal samurai? He's so cool! <laughs> I, I guess. You're judging him by his looks, you have to look at his actions and his life. I'm being lectured on life by a great schooler. <laughs> you like him too, don't you? Uh, me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. His kind nature, his fighting skills, willpower, his acting. I'll say his fighting skill. No, his kind nature. Alright, come on, think of something. I really like his kind nature. What a guy. Totally, he looks so tough, but inside he's as gentle as a kitten. <laughs> So what else do you like about him? Oh god. Tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. His fighting skills. I like it when he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, it was Am. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out, it's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never even missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out, my new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Huh. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. Got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Sweet. Path to glory's been received. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. This was from every victory scene in every battle the Steel Samurai has won. That might help us out. Okay. What happened? Alright, so you were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Do you see anything unusual? Cody. Uh-oh, he says, Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? Oh my god, are you serious? They fucking use the line for great justice? Oh my god, all your base, baby. You have to help us fight to, for great justice, too. I, I saw, I saw everything! Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. <clears throat> Alright. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in here for maybe a half hour. And I finally got to the studio. <clears throat> After that... What is it, Cody? The steel samurai killed the bad guy. He used his samurai spear. Just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Alright, uh, Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. But the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So, the only person left who could have been is Will Bowers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him, then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Oh, shit, the, the detective. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! He ran away. Ha ha ha. I didn't go so well. We're back at zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. What the fuck? She's gonna leave me hanging? Are you serious? Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I believe. You know, I want to know why I believe? Because we found the bottle of sleeping pills. Someone drugged him. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. All right. Woo! One hell of a cliffhanger so far. Who knows what the hell's really going on. I think someone drugged him and framed him. I really do. Uh-oh. <laughs>
Uh, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Well, I we I still have the sleeping pill bottle. And we got that book of all the killing blows that the kid took pictures of. Maybe there's some evidence there. Court's now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that we were there were other people present at the studios. Today I'd like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or the director. <laughs> this fucking weirdo. Well, the witness state his name and profession. How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director. The steel samurai noob, Ruffle. <laughs> Ruffle. So, Salmonella, I'm a director, television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm, very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking his testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Alright. I was at the studio I was at the studios from around nine that morning. During the morning I was doing uh an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else at lunch I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Huh. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30, and according to your testimony, you were in the meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. All right. Let's press him on everything. Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still, FWIW, I was pretty busy all that day. Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing uh, an action scene run through. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run-through? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. <laughs> she certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why'd it go on so long? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already, you've already heard about this, but... W.P. twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Oh, right, that's the limp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch. <laughs> Roth's rolling on the floor, starving. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak. The assistant cooked some up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning all the witnesses, did not... All everyone else meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Bleh. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't go to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix, yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Oh! He was in the trailer. Oh. 
can't say that. Actually, there is something bothering me. Mr. Manella, just thought you said steak at least. So you ate something other than steak. Haha, -ha, yeah, good call. I had some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to starve off starvation. Or stab off starvation. I see. Is that all? I was sure I was onto something there. We're in the meeting until around four. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this. The sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting? During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break. Er, well... Yeah, not a one. Sweats. Huh. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix, if his alibi holds powers is finished, press him as hard as you can and find out where he's lying. Right. Alright, so it looks like we have to press him again on his story and find something.